The wide area network connects offices in one city with offices in another. Typically, in an enterprise, a user's desktop is connected to a local area network inside a building or campus, and this in turn is connected to a metropolitan area network inside a city. Major cities often have several metropolitan area networks interconnected into a metroplex via fiber backbones. At some point, this metroplex is interconnected to inter-exchange carrier or IXC networks to traverse the country. Originally, cities linked over switched long-distance telephone circuits. The circuits could be switched open on demand, like telephone calls, for bursts of data traffic, or they could be leased and open all the time. Typically, the costs of leasing long-distance lines are high. Over time, the telephone companies and other large carriers built fiber optic networks and connected TCP IP routers to them. The lines were open all the time, but each user's packets would only require a fraction of the network's bandwidth. This brought costs of wide area networking down, as the cost of keeping the line open was spread out over a large number of users. The costs of wide area networks today vary with transport method and quality of service. Many companies today use the internet as the wide area component of their networks. This spreads the wide area costs out over even more users. The Internet provides access to the corporate network for users around the globe, and it gives company employees access to the great global store of information.